What's up, comic book fans? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. That's right, guys. And this is your host, Mike Spider Slayer. This week is a huge week for comic book readers, comic book collectors. There is so many great books and stories that are out there this week. So this is one of the biggest comic book hauls of the year for me and for a lot of others out there. So guys, I hope you enjoy this comic book haul. Um, first off, if you guys want to check out Dark Avenger Inc., we're celebrating Villains Month there. Uh, I have an alter ego villain. Uh, Dude Rock 18 has alter ego villain. Some of the others might eventually, and we're going to be reviewing all villains books over there. So check that out over there. I'm going to be doing a countdown video for villains books. So it'll be really fun this month over at Dark Avenger Inc. So check that out. Uh, next, uh, I'm going to try to do as many reviews as I can with the time that I have this week with these villain books. But you'll definitely get a countdown video and, uh, and books being reviewed here and there. So, guys, with that being said, let's just jump into this haul and let's see what Mike Spider Slayer got. Did he get those 3D covers? Let's see. Here's the bag. I pretty much got the books and I have a feeling that I did get some of this stuff because the comic shop said there's stuff in here that nobody else got. So we'll see what I got here. Bag goes bye-bye. Here's your books this week. Here we go. Starting with Venom, issue number 40. We have, uh, this series is ending, obviously. We got a new symbiote here. His, her name is Mania. And uh, we're going to see how they team up with each other. But uh, Venom is ending, and I'm going to see it through because I've collected it from issue 1. Next from Marvel. Looking forward to this. I know a lot of readers are. It is The Superior Spider-Man, issue number 17. Uh... Gail O'Hara makes his debut here in the Marvel Universe once again. And uh, how him and Doc Ock are going to get along will be very, very interesting. Uh, we're going to see what his place is here and uh, what's going to happen. So I kind of can't wait to read this one. So this is Superior Spider-Man, issue number 17. Next, another uh, brand new series from the Spider-Man Universe is The Superior Foes of Spider-Man and this is issue number three. This is really a great series. It's really funny. Um, at this point, I think it's better than Hawkeye. Hawkeye's been kind of gone stale. It's at a standstill. It's like Fraction's got um, writer's block in the series and in, the series has not progressed in any which way possible. However, this series is great. Uh, if you like C-listed villains, this is going to be the book for you. Lots of humor here. Uh, great stuff. Superior Foes, issue number three. Next, another event that is from Marvel, and it's an X-Men event, and that is Battle of the Atom, issue or chapter number one. Um, can't wait to read this. This is a big event for the X-Men here, plus the new X-Men that got inserted into Marvel now. Uh, so this is going to be a great event for them. And it's actually followed by all new X-Men issue number 16, uh, part 2. It's funny how they have these first two chapters of this story released on the same week. Uh, but there's a lot of great stuff from DC this week, so I guess they're just trying to keep pace with the sales. Uh, great cover here, lots to look at. Uh, so, excuse me, so interested to see uh, what happens in this series. Really excited. Next is the main Marvel event. Uh, of this year, and that is Infinity Part 2 of 6. Got Captain America on the cover. Uh, last issue, I gave it a 3 out of 5. It was average for me because you really have to be an Avengers fan to, I think, get the true enjoyment out of this. I'm going to see where it stands here because I am only reading the, ch the main story. I'm not reading all the other tie-ins or the other Avengers books. So hopefully when I read this, um, I won't be lost. So I'll see where I stand with Infinity uh, book two. Next, uh, independent book, we have Chu, and Antonelle Chu is back. We thought she was dead. However, she is not dead. It looks like she's well, well and good here, so I cannot wait to see uh, how this turns out. Chu is a phenomenal read. Uh, it does have an ending around issue 60 or so, uh, but I love the thing with the Looney Tunes type of style uh, cover here, so Chu is a great book. Next, uh, I really loved uh, 
Jeff Lemire's Trillium issue number one. Uh, this week, I did not skip out on it, even with all the books that are out this week. I thought that issue was very well done, and uh, definitely giving this a second try. And I heard from uh, the comic shop manager, he said that the second issue was just as good, if not better. So this is Trillium, issue number two. Next, we have from DC. DC Universe versus Masters of the Universe. I am so interested to see how this happens, how this turns out. But when you have books like this, this is the stuff that's fun. Uh, you got stuff that's from your childhood. How can you not turn down Masters of the Universe fighting, you know, superheroes? I'm so anxiously awaiting to see how this turns out and what happens in this uh, series. And uh, it says Clash of the Champions on the bottom. Great cover here. So... Uh, definitely looking forward to reading uh, DC Universe versus Masters of the Universe. Uh, next, from DC Comics, we have Batman Black and White, issue number one. Um, I never read the original Black and White series. Uh, however, I heard great things about it, and um, I wanted to read this one, and I love the cover here. I love the Black and White cover. It's just like a sketch drawing. It's, it's so awesome. Uh, so well done here, and uh, you know, even you open it up, and it's just like, oh man, that is so well done. But uh, I cannot wait to read this. This looks very interesting, and um, DC man, you're doing a great job this year. Black and white issue number one. Next, we go into the next major event for DC. The I guess it's bridged over. And this is Forever Evil issue number one. It's got that glossy cover there, and it's got all our villains here. And from what I tell, from what I was told on this issue, I think it has to mainly do with the crime syndicate and who they are, what they represent, and where they came from. I, that's from what I heard. Uh, once I read it, obviously, I'll, I'll get the true gist of it, but I can't wait for this. I love bad guys. Uh, I love supervillains, and I think I've always thought this, even though I haven't read DC all that much uh, in the past, I've always liked DC villains better than Marvel villains. I thought their villains were much more characteristic, real, much more developed, and I think they're badass. But I can't wait to read this uh, Forever Evil issue number one. Next, we have, here it is, guys. This is it. Did I get the 3D covers or not? Here we go. DC Comics. Batman Detective Comics. Issue 23.1. The Poison Ivy cover. It is the 3D cover. If you can see it here. It's kind of hard to tell. Very well done. Uh, when you look at it in person, it is awesome. It's just an awesome, awesome cover. So well done here. You can see it move. So we have that right there. Totally excited. This out of all of them was one of the ones that I wanted the most. So what else did I get? Cyborg Superman number one, which is Action Comics. Love this cover as well. So well done. You can see here how it, how it moves. There's a little bit of a glare, so I apologize about that. 3D cover. Cyborg Superman. What else? The Joker, number one, or as is Batman, issue 23.1. We can see the ha-ha-has move. The jaw moves up and down. Great cover here. So well done. Great stuff. God, I'm so excited I got these. I wasn't sure if I was going to get them. You know, you might be able to get them like on online services and things like that because they're major companies that sell a lot of comics. But little comic book shops, they don't get too many of them, so it's very rare. Next is The Flash, issue 23.1, Grodd number one. So here's the one here. We can see that they move. You can see here. Flash is reaching for Grodd. He's like, no. Awesome. All right. Next, from DC Comics, and I wasn't sure if I was even going to get this one either. Green Arrow, issue 23.1. Count Vertigo, number one. You can see Count Vertigo sits there. He moves his hand back and forth. He's up front. 
We can see uh, Green Arrow just hunched over. He's grabbing his head. He's like, no, I can't concentrate. So we can see that right there. All right, what else did I get? Next, a big one, I think, here. Green Lantern, issue 23.1, Relic. We get to see the origin of him, the, the new main bad guy in the Green Lantern universe. We can see his hand moves. We can see Hal Jordan moving in the background there. Really cool. Awesome. You see the rings really show out. They, like, go out in that 3D motion there. They're, like, coming at you like, ah! Freaking awesome, dude. So cool. I saw the regular 2D covers uh, when I was at the store, and that's all they had on the racks. And it's just not quite the same. It really isn't. Uh, however, I hope the stories are really good, even with these covers. Next, Justice League, issue 23.1, Dark Side, number one. Here we can see Dark Side and his beams going here. Really awesome. Love it. Batman or Bat, uh, Superman sitting there on the ground. He's like hunched over. This one will be reviewed on uh, Dark Avenger Inc. As long as Relic and I think Joker. Went out and got this one because I thought this would be a cool looking cover. Uh, next is 23.1 of Justice League Dark. For me, just seeing this in person... It's the most animated and most 3D cover so far out of all of these that I've seen so far. And we have Constantine in there. And again, it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but uh, we can see that the chains are really out there in 3D. They move back and forth. The creeper's out there sticking out his hand. Constantine's in trouble. Awesome looking cover. Awesome cover. And last but not least from DC is Justice League America issue 7.1 and this is the Deadshot cover actually you look at this this is another one that's really badass too here we got Deadshot on the cover it's like the bullets coming at you as you can see here really 3d motion type really badass stuff cannot wait to read these awesome covers this is a really good one too great stuff and I just want to thank uh, Comic Central, who is my comic shop, for going all out and taking care of me for this. Uh, they didn't have to do that. Um, I know they were very limited, and they got me every single one that I wanted. So thank you, Comic Central. And guys, there is your comic book haul this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, there's lots of books here. And uh, I hope you guys get your 3D covers too. So guys, as always... This is Mike Spider Slayer from Comic Book Corner 2.0. And guys, until the next comic book review, I see you all real soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.